Hello everyone YouTube, this is Ultra Duck Slayer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since this is my last video about, you know, the lighting collection. If you guys saw that video, please go ahead and give it a watch. And of course, um, uh, I kind of noticed in uh, my last video I was, uh, or maybe not, I was a little bit under the weather, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I think my voice got a little more deeper because <laughs> I am getting older. Um, much older than I already am, so so let's uh, let's get started. Uh, of course, uh, there's a lot to cover, and uh, an awesome announcement just happened this morning. I'll get to that later. So let's talk about, of course, again, it's been talked about a lot in throughout YouTube, throughout Twitter, throughout Twitch, and every source of uh, social media. It's about you know the Activision Blizzard deal. With Xbox and of course already there's been talks that that the EU and the CMA are getting ready to approve the deal because now that everything has settled down over there in, in Europe that uh that, yeah that, that they're ready to settle down to approve the deal because not only that what, what we heard about you know like like a couple weeks back that that uh, Xbox uh, has uh, formed a deal with two platforms, which is Nintendo and the NVIDIA GeForce to make sure that Call of Duty comes to those platforms because Xbox wants to make these type of, you know, partnerships with these two companies. And also, not only Call of Duty is coming to those two platforms, they're also going to release Xbox games in in both platforms, both in Nintendo and in, in NVIDIA GeForce, which is an awesome idea because I think that Xbox needs to branch out of the exclusivity even though there will be some games that will still stay on Xbox exclusivity you know like Redfall and Starfield and other things like that but they'll probably give you know the, the platforms over there like the older titles you know like the Elder Scrolls titles you know uh, Fallout titles um you know, stuff like that, you know, probably some old stuff, but they'll probably, like, put time exclusives on Redfall and Starfield and put it, those games into those platforms, but we'll see what happens, all right? So, so that's good news that, you know, the EU and, you know, the the, the, M, the CMA are going to get ready to approve this deal. Hopefully that we get to hear what's going to happen. Probably we won't hear nothing until next month on april because that is the the deadline for for this for this deal to approve hope it does because slowly but surely over in china they're starting to approve bit by bit by bit in different areas in china so hopefully that like concludes for china and hopefully we'll hear to to hear more stuff about you know the the eu and the cma saying that okay we approved the deal you guys have given a good good point. We always seen the charts that's been going on with PlayStation, and of course, speaking of PlayStation, now PlayStation is in a bind here because now that this, ever since that Xbox says, okay, we need we need a, a appeal from you guys about all your documents of what you're doing over there. So yeah, this is gonna hurt Sony a lot because they've been trying to like block this deal, to block this deal, to block this deal because we all know that Sony is on top of the gaming market. Sony is doing well everywhere throughout the world, and Xbox is lagging behind not only Sony but Nintendo too. So, so Xbox is trying their best to catch up with Sony, but the they've proven that they can't because um, they're trying to make games for the Xbox, and very slowly, you know, they're they're trying their the they're, they're trying their best, but at the end of the day, they're not. They're they're really not worried about their console. They're 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 still they're still going to be Xbox consoles for sure for in the next ten years for sure. But they want to expand the ecosystem. That's why they want to get Activision Blizzard. They want to get Activision Blizzard King, which is the the mobile company King. So they they just want that. They don't have nothing in the mobile market. So that's why they're trying to get Activision Blizzard. So. And that's the end of the, that topic, and I have a uh, some more some more gaming stuff to talk about. And uh, so let's start off with with Namco Bandai, because Namco Bandai had a uh, 
had a uh, Dragon Ball tournament. Um, and at the end of the tournament, they have announced a long-awaited gaming franchise within Dragon Ball games that we haven't heard in a long time since uh, since the last Tenkaichi, which was which was still rock paper scissors Tenkaichi game, but it was still fun nonetheless because you can create your own character in that game. And uh, but lo and behold, we finally got an official announcement, an official. Um, next number Tenkaichi game, which is Tenkaichi Four. We have been waiting for that type of Tenkaichi game since you know since the 360 and the PS3 started. So we finally gonna get a next gen game by Namco Bandai Tenkaichi Four, which is only gonna focus on Dragon Ball Super. That's great because we all know that we've been going through the same cycle with with the same Dragon Ball Z games that 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 just you know came out lately. You know, Dra- Dragon Ball Kakarot, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is the same thing, even though they added you know DLC about you know uh, within of Dragon Ball Super as well. And ho- hopefully, we'll get more content with Dragon Ball Super within Kakarot, even though they just dropped you know. The, the, the Bardock story, which I still need to play. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to get Tenkaig 4 from Nako Bandai. And, of course, you know, like last week we did uh, got like an announcement from, you know, Nako Bandai that, gonna, that we're going to have a next-gen version of the Naruto Digital Store games that is like, like squeezed into one massive game with more characters, more story. And now... Let's talk about Resident Evil 4 Remake. Yes, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Within Capcom, com, within the Capcom company, they just announced that they're going to do a sh- showcase of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Not just, probably not just Resident Evil 4 Remake. Probably they'll like, have other announcements about other titles that are coming later this year. And, um, and that's great. And, you know, and hopefully that a Resident Evil 4 Remake that we get that we get to dive in more even though there's been a lot of clips from you know from from IGN and and Game Informer and other YouTubers that are in the that 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 focus only on Resident Evil it's been awesome i've been seeing clips here and there the game looks wonderful more exploration within Resident Evil 4 Village i mean Resident Evil 4 remake i'm sorry <laughs> I'm getting out of hand here. I'm just too excited about Resident Evil 4 remake. I mean, like I said on my in my you know one of my videos that that Resident Evil 4 was the first Resident Evil game I ever played within the franchise. All right, Resident Evil 4, what got me hooked into the franchise? It wasn't Resident Evil One, it wasn't Resident Evil Zero, it wasn't even Resident Evil Three or Two. It was Resident Evil 4. Okay. I'll, I'll tell this little story. Back then, when I was uh, like a preteen, like like thirteen, fourteen, somewhere around there, my my cousin had 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 a GameCube, right? And he was playing Resident Evil Four. I went to go visit him, you know, my my dad and my mom, and cause my uncle was like like you know making a barbecue for for all of us to eat, you know. And then I went to my cousin's room and say, "Hey, cousin, I don't know." I'm here playing the, the game. Oh, what's this, what's this game called? Oh, it's Resident Evil Four. I'm just playing Mercenary. Oh, I never, never I never play Resident Evil uh, Resident Evil game. Is it good? It's like yeah, it's good. So he handed me the GameCube controller, and I saw so many buttons on that controller. Yeah, I even have the the the, what's the Switch version. I looked at this controller. I was like, God damn, this controller has so many buttons. I didn't know what to do. I of course I did died here and there. I got scared and I'm like, oh my god, that's that's, that's terrifying. And it's like, yeah, I know, right? It's like, and then as he like switch over to the game story, you know, I I just watched the 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 beginning and it looked really good. It looked really good and I was excited. It's like, oh man, I wish it was on the PS2 because I had a PS2 uh, at the time. And then so like, oh maybe maybe it will come to the PS2. You never know. I mean. Mostly Resident Evil games started at the PS from the PS One. So oh, yeah, it's true. So then, you know, the holidays started rolling. It was like November, 
and I heard that Resident Evil 4 was coming to the PS2, and I said, oh, I have to get it, I have to get it. So I finally got it. I got I got that Resident Evil 4 game from my aunt as a present. I I played it. Uh, I did that so many times. I'm like, okay, I have to find a strategy for me to to get through this game because I want to beat it. Because I want to beat it, I want to beat it, I want to beat it. So, so I got the hang of it. I beat the game on normal, and then I noticed that you can do game, New Game Plus with all your stuff, and that's great. I got so addicted with Resident Evil 4, I didn't even bother touching, you know, my Kingdom Hearts. I, I, I did play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 here and there, but I was like, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4. And throughout, you know, and throughout every system, Resident Evil 4, the original Resident Evil 4 kept dropping on every system, you know. Um, you know, the 360, the Xbox One, the PS4, the Switch, and and now the remake is coming. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play it. I may even play on day zero on Thursday night at probably like like 9.30 p.m. Pacific time. I may play Resident Evil 4 Remake for you guys. I hope you can you can catch my Twitch channel. I, I need I need to like reawaken my Twitch channel because I have not touched it for a long time. So I'll probably put the link below or make a, a separate video saying that oh I'm playing Resident Evil 4. Just hit the you know the link below. I'll probably do that just to let you know that, that I'm I'm live, you know. But yeah, Resident Evil 4 remake showcase is coming tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Or probably a little earlier than that. So you got to look at YouTube. Look at Twitch. Because it's going to be live. So I'll probably. We'll catch the showcase. Probably when I come back home from work. Around 6. So I'll watch that. Hopefully they'll they'll drop a demo. Because I really want to play the demo. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm really ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for Resident Evil 4 Remake. So. And that's the end of, of that topic. And uh, what else can I think about? What else can I think about? Oh, yes. Starfield. Bethesda. They finally drop a release date. They finally drop an, an official release date for Starfield. Okay. Now, I know we wanted to play the game during the first half. But we're, we're going to probably play the game on the second half of 2023, which is fine, you know, because they want to let Redfall have its moment, you know, from May, June, July, August. So that's four months of Redfall, four months of Redfall for everybody to enjoy before Starfield drops on September 6, 2023. And plus, the director himself from Bethesda did say that they're going to have a special showcase just on Starfield because they say they have tons and tons of things to say about this game on June 11th. That is technically kind of like E3 week. So they're going to have a showcase during that time. And finally, I'm I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready. I want to learn about this game a lot more. And it's a good thing for me that I'm not working that week <laughs> because, you know, the school is going to be closed for, for the summer and... And uh, and yeah, so I think that's all I have to say. But uh, I want to talk about this little, little talk topic about what's been going on with Hogwarts Legacy. Yes, yes, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm still playing that game. I haven't finished the game yet. I'm so close. I'm so close. So um, we all know that you know the activist of the transgender community has been attacking people left and right. And not even in their own community for people playing, oh, you're, you're a traitor, blah, blah, blah. And they even been attacking YouTubers. Supervelle saw the video, saw the clip. She was crying that she was devastated that a lot of people attacked her for playing a video game. That is not entitled with J.K. Rowling. And then they attacked Pikama, who is sadly leaving this month. So, so that's, that sucks. And then funny enough, they started to attack an Indonesian VTuber who is Kobo. I'm also a follower of Kobo. And I, I love VTubers. I love VTubers. So Gargo is my first VTuber. Along with the rest of you know myth counts myth and 
and counsel, you know, Ian, counsel, Ian, myth. I, I love all these those ladies. They entertain me. They make me laugh. And they make me feel, you know, that, you know, that they're there to entertain me, to make me feel that, you know, I feel good about myself, you know? So, so they went on attacking Kobo, too. And, of course, Kobo, yeah, she's a spitfire. Don't mess with Kobo. Because she will annihilate you, humiliate you, because she doesn't care. She's going to keep playing that game. And she's been playing that game for, already, like, what, two, three streams already? And she's having the fun. She's, you know, enjoying herself. I'm pretty sure there's another YouTuber who is, uh, I think, GP third generation on Hololive. So she's also playing that game. But so, yeah, it's a lot of hate. Sad that a VTuber is leaving because she couldn't take it anymore. I feel bad for her. And then, I mean, this hate has to stop because you never know which VTuber is going to start you know, bad mouthing back to you because this VTuber is going to have fun no matter what. So that's it, guys. I have no more things to talk about. If, if I missed and left out anything, please let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. And um, hope you guys have a have a, have a a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. With you as well. Stay safe out there. And I'll let you know when I'm going to start playing Resident Evil 4 uh, Remake. I'm probably going to play it like I said, on day zero, 9.30 p.m. Pacific time. And I'll probably also play the demo uh, on Thursday night or Friday morning. So, so stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know. So take care of yourselves. Be kind to one another, please. And have a good day. Peace out.